What is going on guys? My name is Fusions and today we're going to be opening up this Bakugan Geogun Rising Darkest Demark Ultra. So let's get started guys. So today we're going to continue opening up the newest uh, Bakugan Ultras from the newest uh, Geogun Rising Wave. Here we have Darkest Demark Ultra. I mean it's a pretty cool Bakugan but before we open that up we're going to open up a Bakugan Fusion Force Booster Pack. I actually have a few of these and I kind of want to do a booster pack opening. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to let me know down in the comments. From this set, I need only six cards. I've actually been opening some of these packs um, like on my own time and I got a few Bakugan Elites. So I only need two out of the five now instead of four. So let's see if we could get the other two. Insta Baku Gear, Dark Destroyers, Ventos Energizer, Aqua Burst. Kubo's Rules, Baku Strength, Titan Enoch Ultra, Chaotic Booster. We got Pyrotherno. Yes, that's good. This is one of the ones that I needed. So uh, I needed six. And now that we got this one, I only need five to complete the set. Yes, that's really good. And then for the Hex, we have Enlightened Focus, which is a rare Hex. Pretty cool. And then we also have an Epic Character card. We have Nilius Ultra here. All right, so that was actually a really good booster pack. But now let's get to this unboxing of the Darkest Denmark Ultra Bakugan. So here it is. Uh, we're going to take a look at it up close, of course. Let's take a look at the back of the box. Here it is, uh, Denmark Ultra. And then here's the wave that it comes in. I'm still looking for the um, elemental. It does have an elemental. Is uh, I think it's this one. Or I can't really tell. I think it's this one. This is the elemental. And then we also have Diamond Sharktar Ultra that I haven't found yet. But I'm opening all the whole wave. So make sure you uh, check out the other videos and make sure to stay tuned for future videos. Let's open this one up and let's take him out. Let's see how good uh, this Bakugan is. Uh, Demark has a pretty cool design, I would say. But let's see. Uh, I think Darkest is like the original or like the natural faction of Demark because it does have an elemental which is also darkest so I think that would be the uh, the main faction let's open up this little bag and let's see what we have in here we got the two cores we have a how to play guide which uh, we don't need at the moment we also have a how to close Demark which I'm gonna show you guys later and then we have the most updated checklist of the Bakugan Ultras the Geogons and the Bakugan cores. Um, I'm looking for the new Geogons. I know they're starting to roll out in some places, but so far I haven't found them yet. I am looking for them, so stay tuned. If I find them, you guys are going to see them on the channel. Here we have the two cores. It looks like we got two green fists, which uh, I don't like, but here's the first one, minus three attack. I'm never using that one. And then we have a plus 150 beat and plus two attack. This one's kind of nice, but I don't like double green fist Bakugan. It's it's just, I feel like they're not that great unless they have a really good ability. So let's see what this Bakugan has. So first we have the gate card. It is number 19 in the set, as you guys can see right there. It looks like, I think it's Phaedrus. I think that's what it, this Bakugan is called. Um, I'm pretty sure I have this one. I don't think I've seen this gate card a lot. So it's uh, a rare one, I would say. But I do have it. And then we have the action card, which is Raging Claw. Okay, pretty nice. I don't think it's a good card because it costs 4 energy for only 800 B power. But, I mean, I, that's the card that, that came in this pack. Here are the stats. Here's Darkest Demark Ultra. As we saw, Double Green Fist, 700 B power, which is pretty good. And 4 attack as well. It reminds me of Enoch. But... Enoch has a magic shield instead of a second green fist. So I would say Enoch is probably better. I mean, it's basically the same thing, right? Same stats, just uh, the cores, if I'm not mistaken. I just don't like the stats because it doesn't carry cores that would help it. Um, the elemental might be good, but until I get it, that's when I will find out. For now, the basic stats, they look okay just that the cores, they're not great. That's the thing that I don't like. And here is the Bakugan itself. We're gonna cut it and release the Bakugan. Let's see, let's take a look at this up close. 
Oh, there's another strap here, which we're gonna cut as well. There we go. It is very secured. All right, so here it is, Darkest Demark Ultra. Very cool looking box gun for sure. Yeah, and it looks very complex. There's a lot of moving parts. We have these little things right here. We have these, uh, they look like wings. Are they wings? Yeah, they're definitely some wings. I don't know what these are. And then, uh, yeah, just the background itself just looks really nice. I like how it looks. And the darkest colors, like the purple, um, looks really nice on this background. On the face, we do have a little bit of uh, white on there. Looks like on the jaw and on the little horn right there. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool Bakugan, I would say. Very nice. Okay, so now to close this Bakugan, you have to follow these steps right here. First, the arms go in like that. Then we have the legs going up. Then you can hold it this way. There we go. We put the little parts right here down and then the head over that. Now you're going to have it like this. You finish off with the wings and then seal everything with the last part in the back. And you should be able to close it if you do those steps correctly. It's uh, a kind of complicated, but at the same time, like I always say with every Bakugan Ultra, as long as you get a little bit of practice, uh, you'll get it done. All right, so now let's roll this onto that core. Let's see if it does a little jump for us. All right, let's roll it. Three, two, one, bro. And it did do a small little jump. Uh, it didn't land, but there it is. It, it kind of just like jumps forward like this and it's supposed to land. Yeah, very cool. Like I said, pretty nice uh, Bakugan. All right, guys, so that's it for this opening of the Darkest Demark Ultra Bakugan. In my opinion, the Bakugan itself looks pretty cool, but the stats, they're not gonna be the best. It's not gonna be the best Darkest Bakugan. And then it does have that double green fist that I don't like personally. And like I said, if you have double green fist, you have to have at least an ability that can, you know, help you out with that. But it doesn't. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave it down in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Comment below. Let me know what you want to see next out of those three Bakugan or the Fusion Force booster packs. Thanks for watching, guys. And peace out.